Hi guys. Um, I'm just starting this video again. I had I had just been doing it when I named my daughter, and I can't obviously do that because I need to protect her in all of this as much as I can. So I won't be putting photos up or anything. You know, sorry, but I have to look after her as much as I can in all this. Um, I said I would blog after I met her, and so here it is. Um, just want to set the scene a bit. She's been seeing the specialist, um, a, a clinic that looks after minors as well as their their kids of um, trans parents. And you know, I went there about six weeks ago just to have a word with the specialist who's been looking after her, just to kind of get a bit of background about me and whether I was in a position in my transition to meet her, but also to see what I was like. And um, that meeting went really well, so we scheduled a meeting today um, when I was there the last time, and. Um, to kind of give you, to give me for the future as well a bit of background as to how I felt. Um, the last kind of three, four weeks, I've been really looking forward to it, don't get me wrong, but I've also been uh, absolutely breaking it, wondering, worrying about how she's going to be and what kind of reaction I'm going to get and what to wear and how to be and everything. And basically, I was chatting to a very good friend of mine. Um, someone who I hold very dear, I've only known for about three or four months but you know she's a special person and she'll know who she is when I say this. Um, we were talking about clothing and she was asking what you were going to wear and I was saying jeans and stuff and she goes well why? That's not Debbie, that's not the person that I know. I mean I do wear jeans sometimes don't get me wrong but um, she's saying just be yourself you know you only get one chance to make a first impression and you won't be you if you're dressing down anyway so just go as you and she was right and uh just wore you know pink tights pink jumper denim skirt nothing massively outlandish but um yeah i felt like me and i think that was important because i was relaxed and wasn't worrying about what i was wearing um but i got there this morning and i was about an hour and a half nearly two hours early so just the way the coaches work um i went and had a coffee and sat and read my book for a bit and chilled um and then got to the place about three quarters of an hour early and I just said, you know, I'm here for my appointment, can I come in? And I used the loo and sat in the waiting room and stuff. I was chatting to some guy and then, um, yeah, we went up um, and we chatted a bit about how I was and how my daughter was and how things were gonna go, what could possibly happen, different scenarios. And she asked how things had been when we were discussing things, you know, in the lead up to the meeting. and. Um, I conveyed what had been going on basically between the Skyping conversations I've been having with my little one because we've kind of been doing that for a little while now so it's been good because she's seen it anyway and um, I asked for advice um, after we've been discussing all this and she goes all you can do is just you know be the, the calm parent and explain to her that you know you're doing this and you want her to be part of this and it's you know and just go from there and just you know see how she is and, and as to how much you want to say and stuff and basically she went and got her um, the, the reception phone and said that my, my ex and my daughter were there so they she went off and got them and I was waiting probably three four minutes the longest three four minutes of my life without a doubt and I have never ever ever I'm not a nervous person generally on the whole the only time I've been bricked it is this much before is when I started it in my, uh, my current job now my first day presenting as Debbie so anyway got they went and got she went and got them and they were coming up the corridor and I could hear their voices and I was shaking I was physically physically shaking I was absolutely bricking it and my daughter come in the door and her face was just like the most beautiful thing I've ever ever seen and we have this very special way well it's special to us anyway the way that she jumps on me and hugs me and stuff she like sits on my lap and she puts her arms around my shoulders and stuff and like snuggles in and um she ran over the room and she just jumped on my lap and hugged me and it was the most amazing brilliant superb best thing i could have wished for in my wildest dreams i couldn't have wished for a, a better way for her to be it was brilliant she just 
she was crying and giggling and happy and it was just the most amazing wonderful beautiful thing yeah I'm trying to hold it in so just bear with me um, yeah it was incredible couldn't have wished for more and you know, we were all sat in there in the room for a bit having a chat and stuff and then um, my ex and the specialist went away and left us in the room for a bit and we were just chatting about all sorts about what's been going on at school and like swimming at school and her friends and other stuff you know socially and um, then they came back and you know she, the specialist asked her if she was comfortable with it and she was saying yeah she was fine um, it was quite funny when she first came in the room and like she sat on my lap she's giggling and she goes you still got ruffles ruffles is what my daughter calls like stubble and I haven't really at all because I've had like four sessions of laser there might be a tiny it's not as smooth as a, as a obviously a, a lady still well like I'm a lady but it's not as smooth as it will be you know now there's still a tiny little bit there and um but it's not noticeable but it was funny that she said that. and um she goes are you are you okay with daddy like this this is the specialist to my daughter and um she goes well he looks like a lady <laughs> I mean, this is someone who's nearly eight amazing why can't everyone else see people and life as she does anyway so we went and had lunch in a restaurant that's quite local to the place where we went and the staff were courteous and lovely and they were kind and considerate and I think my ex was quite blown away because she wasn't expecting them to react like that um, and to her credit she's been amazing and supportive and encouraged my daughter to kind of maintain contact with me but also to, to have courage in facing me on Skype and stuff in the initial stages um, but I think it was an eye opener for her because she obviously hadn't been out with me like this as well and I said to her on the whole people are like this people do treat you you know as you're presenting you do get the odd bad experience but it's been quite a while since I've had one to be honest um, yeah and that was it um, we had lunch and it was brilliant we are just chatting and giggling and I've took some photos I'm not going to share them guys because it's it's not right you know, they're private I can't reveal my daughter's identity I don't want to I need to protect her um, so yeah it was fun and then she, you know the, there's a downstairs bit in the, in the restaurant and they had like a, a Christmas tree and there was like disco lights and stuff because it was like a little dance hall thing and we went down and like went to the loo and it was weird going to the loo the same loo as her for the first time um, you know this the same gender toilet basically I use the ladies obviously now as well and um, we came out and um, we had a little dance and was just twirling around and stuff and it was like it was like it should be you know she said can I call you dad I said of course you can sweetie and she was calling me dad and a few people were looking at in the chair and you know what don't go shit it doesn't bother me in the slightest and then um yeah that was really good and we um we I walked them to the train station because we were leaving you know get, I was getting back by coach they were going by train back home and um, when we got there there was a train pretty quickly um, sort of like in the next 15 minutes or so so they went and had to board it and she was very upset um, as was I it was, it was teary um, but I'm going to be seeing her again um, in about four and a half weeks so all in all thanks for watching I know I've rambled a bit but it was amazing I couldn't have wished for a better better experience and it's amazing that people don't see things through kids' eyes or the way the kids do um, a lot of my friends do in so much as they're non-judgmental and they're respectful but you know I think if you're nice and kids are more emotionally in tune with things like that anyway then they say that you're nice and they just yeah, accept you as who you are hopefully this has helped someone or you know those of you who were interested in me and like thank you to all the, the words of support that I've had over the last few days and especially this morning like loads of people were like supportive or even just like in the status when I said I was going to meet my daughter so you know it's nice to know you're not alone um, I guess I'll be blogging again soon. It's Debbie's first Christmas in a, in a few days. I'm spending it with the most 
wonderful housemates while I can't spend it with my daughter and that it's sad because it'll be the first Christmas I won't see her in the same breath I'm going to be seeing her in a few weeks you know it's just over a month so happy days um, yeah Debbie's life just keeps getting better and better and long may it continue I'll speak to you guys soon I'm exhausted I'm gonna go take care bye